It's Paul Marsh here on Express, and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by TV journalist and women's health advocate, Cherry Healy. Thank you for joining me. Woo-woo. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so we're going to talk about something that is really, really important. Um, some of us probably do it quite a lot, and some of us don't do it at all, and that is actually getting a little bit of me time. Oh, yes, the uh, the dreaded me time in a way. A lot of people go, oh, no, it's just nothing to put on my list. But I know that self-care and me time can make people's eyes roll. But really what it just means is looking after yourself. And Piano Cruises did some research and they asked lots of people. And 82% came back and said, yes, looking after yourself is really, really important. And then a bit down, a bit further down in the research, it said one in five people spend half an hour a week on themselves half an hour a week and i'm just going to tell you this i don't know many things but i know that that's not enough time ridiculous, ridiculous. Not enough time. but you can see how it happens so we used to do things as a village as a community but we just don't really do that anymore so we do everything ourselves there's a lot going on we've got our work responsibilities which we take seriously because of lots of reasons we also have domestic responsibilities that need to be taken seriously as well. There's also people that need to be called and checked in on. There's food that needs to be bought. There's all the things that need to happen. So you get to the end of the day and it's very easy to then sit on the sofa and scroll on your phone and think that you're relaxing. Nope. 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 No, hundred hundred percent phone addict, right? I admit that right now, but I also know that when I'm scrolling, or I'm researching, or I'm doing all the things on my phone, I'm not relaxing. No. I'm not relaxing. My brain and my nervous system are still under fire, and there's still so much stimulus. So you you finish work, you've been really good, you're, you've stressed about things, and you get home and you feed your nervous system and your brain the same kind of stimulus and stress. So you get to bed and you feel wretched, and then you try and sleep. And of course, that's not going to go well. So this is all about taking an actual break. Mm. Now, I've been really looking forward to talking to you because I had a feeling that you were going to say a lot of what you just said. And the reason why I've been looking forward to this so much is I want to play this interview back to my wife. <laughs> my <laughs> wife me. has a really high powered, high stressful job. Um, she doesn't get a lot of me time at all. And I keep telling her that, you know, m not all, but a lot of these things can wait. They can wait an hour or two. You just need to go and do something, sit in a bath, read a book, do whatever it is. She does exactly what you just described. She'll get in bed at whatever time it is and she'll sit and scroll through the phone and scroll through the phone. I'm like, just put it down. Relax. Oh, I so get that because actually changing energies, shifting energies is uncomfortable. And that's why people don't do it because you're, it's like you're addicted. You're so, like you're an addict. Okay. So you're running on this energy, you're running on this energy and you get back and you choose to shift that takes conscious thought and it takes an effort because it's uncomfortable because what you're doing is you're getting rid of the hormones that have kept you going all day. Those stress mm, hormones, right. that energy, it's addictive and your brain's whirring, it's whirring. So to get rid of that is uncomfortable. And I think it's really important that people know that, that it doesn't last very long, that discomfort doesn't last very long. You get into your bath and you take some breaths. And there's this thing called the four, seven, eight breath, which is where you breathe in for four, you hold it for seven and then you breathe out for eight. It's free. It is completely energy changing. You will get out of that bath a different person. You will behave differently. You will feel differently. You will also be less interested in what's going on on your phone because you've shifted your energy. Your phone is, is your phone is providing a certain amount of dopamine. Mm -hmm. It's like a drug. Well, if you change your energy, your phone becomes a lot less appealing because you don't, you're not looking for those kind of hormones anymore. It's really a small but profound thing you can do at the end of your day. So there's things that you can do throughout the year. You can go on a holiday. You can calm yourself down. There's things that you can do at the weekend. You can say we, to your family. We, sorry to interrupt. We literally just went to a, a health spa resort place for uh I was slightly over 24 hours, 28, 30, 30 hours, something like that. And, she she was amazing. She loved it. She she did literally switch off, but that's what it takes. It takes leaving the house, leaving the kids, yeah. leaving the dog, yeah. leaving the job, leaving everything and, and going to one of these places to, to be able to completely do that. I think it sounds like I can relate to her. You're, you're, you're wanting to do the best you can and you get through the day and then you like, and I do this and I lie on the phone and I go to bed and you, 
it, you never give yourself a chance to relax. When she was on that retreat, how did you feel your connection was or how did you feel that she was different? It was she uh, different? Yeah, just a lot, a lot more chilled out, a lot more calm. Um, we and and the good thing about it is, so we were there sort of um, Thursday afternoon where we did a lot of stuff together. We went for a swim, a sauna, we had dinner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then on Friday we went and had breakfast together, and then we actually had a couple of hours apart. So she again, so she went for more um, spas and swimming, etc. And I sat in a room and, and read a book, which is what I wanted to do for a couple of hours. Um, and then we met up again and we had lunch and we spent the rest of the day together. So that was really, really nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like she would have absolutely loved that. I'm sure that she mm. felt really yeah. connected to you. I'm sure you felt connected to her. And that's the nicest thing you can have. And that freedom to be able to go off for a couple of hours and have time on her own away from her phone. If she's got a busy job, that phone must feel like a blessing and a curse. The phone yeah. must be it's like, the, it's like the beast that needs constant feeding. Yeah, I mean, she's always doing the thing. She doesn't have a work emails on her phone. She makes a point of doing that. Um, but when she 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 always does the same thing. She'll get back to her laptop, and after two hours, she'll go, oh, "I can't believe I've got fourteen emails." Absolutely, and she's obviously diligent and conscientious, which is why she's in the job she's doing. So you never want to take that away from someone because that's why they're doing well. That's mm. why, they're, and they love their work, and you love that energy, and you love the adrenaline. So it's finding a way of not persecuting someone for being of that nature. No, never making them feel bad but in and also it's difficult for you it's, i always think it's difficult for the partner who's witnessing this thing because when you're in it you don't see it but you're outside of it watching yes. it. and then and also, so you also, might sound like a nag so she might feel like <laughs> just leave me alone that's actually your yeah decision. we we have a lot of that we do have a lot because we work quite differently um I well, I think we're both very good with routines but i have a thing where eight o'clock every night is my shut off point the kids are in bed at 7.30, I've done my work, etc. cetera. Eight o'clock, unless it's an absolute emergency, eight o'clock is my cutoff point where I go, right, I've got two hours of TV or a movie or whatever I want to do, and that is my shut-off point until it all starts again the next day. Yeah, is that something she's able to do? Is that hard for her? Sometimes. So last night, I think we finally sat down on the sofa about half eight to watch some TV for about an hour. Um, but so sometimes she does and sometimes she doesn't. I nag her into it. I do. I nag her into re re relaxing and actually doing something for us. My daughter does that. Interesting, because I'm single. So my daughter will be on the sofa and I'll be on the phone and we're watching Hijack at the moment. And I missed a whole, like, 20 minutes of it. And she looked at me and she went, and I said, oh, what's going on? She said, put your phone down. Yes, yes. Now, listen, yes. you can't talk in that tone to your partner. Uh, you put my 13-year-old daughter down. She was like, you don't know what's going on because you've been doing now i could easily make a case for the fact that it's my work and the reality is i know that i could have put that phone down i know yes but i was uncomfortable because i'd had such a busy day yesterday i was uncomfortable i didn't want to let go of the dopamine i didn't want to let go that's why i was doing it so it's and those I think, little hits isn't it those little hits every now and again yeah yeah the minute you realize you go okay i'm going to be uncomfortable for 10 minutes and then I'm going to be happier. You do it. But it's that it's the shifting of the energy is uncomfortable, a bit like, you know, if someone smokes 20 a day, and they have to cut down, they get itchy. And that's the mm. thing is that at the end of the day, five minutes of discomfort, go for a walk, be with your partner, have a bath, put that phone away. It does, it does work. And it is worth it. It does make for a happier life on earth. Kerry, I've absolutely loved talking to you. We probably haven't spoken about half of the things that we should have spoken about, to be fair. Well, um, well, if it's all right to mention, but if anyone is loving this and this is right up their street, I am going to be doing work wellness workshops next year on PO Cruises. So go on their website, have a look for me, lifestyle and wellness workshops. Uh, come and hang out with me and we can talk about this wonderful subject more. Well, we need to make this a regular thing. We let's do a podcast or something. We need to make this happen again. Yes. Cherry, I've loved, sp I've loved speaking to you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank yeah. you for the information. Go and relax now. When you get the rest of these interviews done for the rest of the day, go and switch off, go and relax. Yes, I will. And I've loved talking to you too.